The CDB has agreed to loan the government of St. Lucia $20.52 million to support the Youth Economy Agency. It will give young people a choice so that they can get involved in businesses and in enterprises that they want to get involved in. And this is what the Youth Economy Agency will do, to give young people a choice. An additional 3,000 young St. Lucians will get access to these funds to help them turn their talents, skills, and hobbies into viable business ventures. The needs of the young people of St. Lucia are many. The needs of the young people of St. Lucia is urgent. We expect with this collaboration that we are about to formalize and forge with the CDB will enable you, and by extension the government of St. Lucia, to fulfill the needs of the young persons of St. Lucia in very short order. Prime Minister Pierre is making the largest capital injection into the St. Lucia Fire Service by committing more than $26 million from the CDB loan agreement to enhance the institutional and technical capacities. In the history of the service, that is the first time that any government has taken a bold step to invest so heavily in a single go in the service, to which much is given, much is expected, and therefore promise with no donor doubt that the men and women of the St. Lucia Fire Service will continue to service our beautiful nation with stellar and exemplary emergency and medical service care. More than 300 of St. Lucia's dutiful and hardworking fire officers and first responders will access advanced training programs to strengthen the emergency response capabilities of the St. Lucia Fire Service. So this signing ceremony today has created an opportunity for me to extend congratulations and appreciation um, of the CDB to the people, government and people of St. Lucia for their passion for working towards a more resilient nation. The St. Lucia Fire Service will also be able to acquire state-of-the-art firefighting equipment, transportation and tools to optimize St. Lucia's emergency response services to better protect public infrastructure and state assets like our airports and government offices and private properties like your homes and businesses from natural and man-made hazards. In this grant and loan, we are going to ensure that their training is seen after by improving their training facility in Viewfort by ensuring that we can make the land permanent and we can do some infrastructural works in retrofitting the fire service training headquarters. We're also going that loan and will also provide goods, the provision of appliances for the fire service. And these appliances will be one aerodrome truck, five domestic fire trucks, four quick response vehicles, QRVs, four ambulances, and equipment and tools for nine fire stations. The Prime Minister and Minister for Finance secured approval from the Parliament of St. Lucia to source the financing from the CDB. On October 12, 2023, Vice President of Operations at the CDB, Mr. Isaac Solomon, joined Prime Minister Pierre and officials of the St. Lucia Fire Service and Youth Economy for the official signing ceremony of this monumental agreement with the government of St. Lucia.